What's up, Basil Babies? It's your girl Joy back with another Basil Banger Babies. How you doing? I am so sleepy. Um, I hope you guys had a chance to check out my grand reveal tour of my classroom. So you need to go check that out. If I remember, I'll put a link in the description box below. So I'm about to go home, but I'm so sleepy. I don't know if I can make it. And I live like an hour away from the school, but I'm ready to be home. And I'm like, do I take a little cat nap in my car? And if there's traffic. So I got me some little peanut butter crackers to nibble on. I need to go to the grocery store. Oh, uh, we need toilet paper. So I didn't eat breakfast. I didn't eat breakfast today. And the lunch, I didn't really like my lunch. So that didn't work out for me. So I need, I wanna eat. So it's like I wanna eat and I wanna go to bed. I just wanna crawl in my bed, but then I gotta get Bobby. And then they want Bobby back in Dallas next weekend. She told them no. She takes a SAT, but then the coach kind of convinced her to go and said he'll pay for our hotel because I, who, who got money for that? Um, so he's gonna, so he says, gonna get our hotel room. And um, we go back to Dallas after the game. I mean, after her SAT on Saturday. Hey. So we'll leave right after that if they can get a, a late late game Saturday. <coughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna try to get out of here. <laughs> Sorry, this wasn't exciting, <laughs> but you need to go check out my room tour video and see how to go. The day was fine. Um, I like having a smaller class sizes. That was great. Um, it was fine. I thought it was going to be crazy. I saw a little, everybody kept their masks on all day. They really did. Um, and we discussed why it's important to wear your mask because, you know, it's, you know, you want to protect other people. And then when you go home, you're around all these people. Then you go home and take that to your grandparents or your parents. And then the older generation is more prone to getting, you know, severely sick than younger. So I try to explain that. But everybody was really quiet. I guess the first day jitters, so we'll see. But the small class size was actually phenomenal. I really, really liked it. And um, I just foresee a larger class size and it just, the niceness is gone. <laughs> so we'll see, now I have the hiccups. All right, I gotta turn off these 50,000 lights. And then I'm gonna, Try my best not to fall asleep at the wheel. That's how tired I am. And then I bought some MAC concealer. When did I buy it? I bought it Saturday before um, we left for Dallas. I don't know what I did. I lost it. I looked everywhere for it. Everywhere. It must have fell out somewhere. So I don't wear foundation anymore, so because it just comes off on a mask, but I do put a little concealer and I do my little eyes. That's all I got. So I need to go back to MAC. I don't think I can make it today. I have to do it tomorrow. I'm too tired. I'm too tired. I'm too tired to do it today. Dang. Okay. I can't go any further. You know how you get where you just hit a wall, you can't do anything else? Hey y'all, it's your girl Joy, back again. I just got home, it is six o'clock, and I just got home. When I get home, I just, I put this hair up, child. So, this is like my, it's my routine when I get home. The hair is just put up. 
I don't know when it's gonna get uploaded, okay? But as of today, it is Tuesday, and I got a few emails from people asking if we were gonna be okay for the storm. I don't know. I don't know. Um, it said that it's coming up. It'll be coming up 45, our highway, and I live off of 45. So I don't know. So, if you're watching this video, help us. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing well and being safe. So today was my second day of face-to-face -face school. And I'm tired because I stand the entire time. And then um, I still have two online classes. So it's called synchronous and asynchronous, okay? It took me a minute to learn what those words mean. They're fancy words. All the schools are using them now. But synchronous is me teaching, me giving a lesson. Asynchronous, I may record a video and upload the video, and that's how the child gets the lesson. So, synchronous is like live instruction, blah, 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 blah. Asynchronous, you online, and that's how you chose um, your courses for your child. I literally just walked in the house. I took my clothes off, washed my hands. So, I just take all my clothes off as soon as I get in the house. And I was just tired. I wanted to do a recap of everything before I left school, but I was so ex Oh shoot, I forgot to take attendance. Dang it! Ugh. So I'm gonna take attendance right after this, okay? <laughs> All right, so <clears throat> today was the second first day of school. Um, most of the kids seem impressed. They really like the classroom. Um, they, they, they're kind of quiet. Maybe it's the first day jitters, I don't know. But my last class, they were a little more talkative. Um, no, my last two classes. So my last two classes, or was it my last one? I don't know. They were a little more talkative and they got my jokes. So it's funny. It's weird that when people get your jokes and they laugh, I don't know what it is. It's like if you're a performer, you feed off of that. If you're a teacher, you feed off the feedback, the energy. But for me, if you're getting my jokes, you get my, you know, and you're laughing. I don't know it just it just keeps coming out it keeps coming out and they just think I'm the funniest teacher ever so I, I don't know but a performer really does a live performer I'm not saying that's what I am I'm not saying that at all but they do feed off their audience so my students are my audience okay <laughs> and they they was like they were like this is like the best class ever <laughs> And they was like, um, this was like my best class today. I'm, I, thank you, Miss Basil. <laughs> and um, so it was really cute. What else someone said? Oh, and it was the end of class. I already did my spiel because I have a little spiel that I do. And she was like, am I blurry? Because I can't see y'all. I'm just ooh, staring at a computer all day. And um, one student, she was like, um, what did she say? She was like, and I saw your YouTube channel. I was like, I didn't give anybody my YouTube channel. She was like, you know what? I can watch your food videos. Other people's, I can't watch their videos because they're not talking. I was like, oh my God, I have a talking problem. You you do notice that. That's why I need a timekeeper in a classroom. You got to keep me on track. And somebody else, like, I'll be the timekeeper. I'll be the timekeeper. I was like, good, because I have a talking problem. Y'all got to help me out with that, okay? Because then next thing you know, the class is over and I didn't even take attendance. So to help me out, let me just take, let me stop now and take attendance now. <laughs> they thought it was so funny. And um, she was like, yeah, I like, you know, you're eating, but you're having a great conversation and you're funny and you're entertaining. And I was like, you know, I thought today it ran across my mind that I was going to give up on my food channel. And she was like, no, I like yours. I can really watch the whole thing. <laughs> so I just thought that was so cute. Now, I didn't tell anybody about, I, I may have given a hint that I do a little YouTubing, maybe. I don't remember, because, you know, I do talk too much. And I don't remember. But there was like, all we did was type in your name. It was You were easy to find. 
but Basilicious. I didn't think that's my food channel. I didn't think that that would be easy to find. So I thought that was a little weird. But anyway, she was like, I just love your food channel. And I was like, fine, I'll keep going. I said, but I haven't uploaded another boy, another student. Because it's the analytics. That's what it is. It's the analytics. <laughs> so I'm like, what do I need to do? <laughs> It was so fun, but we were all done with everything and we were just closing up. So, you know, it wasn't a lesson today now. Um, and then with the storm, they canceled classes for the next two days. But I was like, but you guys are still responsible for that work. Okay. You may get a, a day extension or something like that. Okay. And, but it was, it was a good day. I have a headache. I don't know why. I'm hungry. I don't feel like cooking, but we have some. I bought some liver. I know a lot of people do not like liver. I know that, okay? I I like liver and I haven't had liver in a couple of years maybe. Maybe I don't I don't remember. Maybe I had some chicken liver little things, but I haven't had liver in a long time and you know for the blood level and stuff like that. So I decided to um do smothered pork chops and smothered liver. Two different pans. But since I'm making a gravy anyway, just share the love. And it's just two pieces of liver just so I can build up um, my blood level. And I will tell you, I am post, um, I'm post like maybe three weeks post transfusion. And I have not, it took a full week that I no longer crave ice. It is the weirdest thing ever. I've craved ice for well over 20 years. Well over 20 years. I'm going to say Clinton. I was eating ice before Clinton. Clinton is now 19. I was eating ice way before Clinton. So let's just say 25 years I've been eating ice. And this is the first time in, let's just say, in 25 years that I have not craved ice. I didn't eat, I haven't had ice in probably a week. Mm -hmm. It is, it's weird, it's weird. So, and I also realized I don't drink as much water because I will have the ice, nice ice water. I don't crave the water either. So I'm going to work on that. I'm going to work on that. I know I need to drink my water. I'm going to work on that. So I just want to give you guys an update on the iron transfusion and how I'm feeling. But other than that, my energy level, I believe it has increased some. I don't feel as sluggish um, as I did before. I'm tired because I haven't been sleeping and been working nonstop. So, uh, but the energy level has gone up quite a bit. Not that I need any more energy. And, but no ice which is a good thing <laughs> so I guess it it did work but if I don't take care of the excessive bleeding I'm going to continue to need the iron because I'm still losing large amounts of blood when that time happens it's terrible it is terrible y'all it's terrible oh my gosh it's so terrible I did I say it's terrible terrible so a lot, I know this TMI, but the last time I had to wear a tampon and two pads. That's how bad it is. And it's, it's, it's like nonstop for three continuous days. Even have to wake up in the middle, it'll wake me up out of my sleep. But the good thing is out of that, the good thing is is that um, it's not painful. I don't, you know, I, in the beginning I may have minor cramps, but I hear other women may suffer, but they also are, you know, very uncomfortable. So I, I don't really have that problem, which I'm so thankful for, but rest assured, I'm gonna bleed through something. <laughs> so it, it's, it's like a given. I'm gonna bleed through something. So that's my update, sorry. I know that was really personal. So if you have issues like that, you're not alone. Um, but other than that, um, we are out of school. I have tons and tons of grading to do, um, emails to send. So maybe this break um, will be helpful to try to catch up. 
So I'm going to rest for about, I'm gonna set my timer for 15 minutes. Just wanna lay here and light my candles and just do nothing for 15 minutes. Then I'm gonna force myself to get out. I'm probably hungry, cause I had, you know the Hawaiian rolls, the Hawaiian bread? I had a piece of ham and cheese on two of those for lunch. And then I had a, a smoothie for breakfast. And that was, and then I ate a whole bunch of junk because I think I was still hungry. Connie Child sent us uh, a snack a snack box of assorted chips and cookies and stuff. So I was like, yeah, those are gonna be great at lunchtime. <laughs> so I was snacking on that. And I guess maybe I'm hungry or I ate too much bad stuff today. I don't know. I got too much light on y'all. So that's what I'm going to do and I'm just gonna lay here and zone out think about all the things I need to do and maybe going back to Dallas this weekend so if depending on a storm that's coming I'm going to try to fit my car in the garage which is a huge huge job because I have to move everything from one side of the garage to the other side of the garage and it is going to be a task a task so hopefully hopefully so hopefully the girls will be able to help me with that and getting the car in the garage is a task cuz it's a wide car and a long car truck whatever SUV and that garage was not built for an SUV because it has a column in the middle and my car is wide and long. So that's why I know I have to move the stuff from the back. Oh my gosh. But because of the storm, I can't I can't deal with losing a car at this point. So I'm, I'm going to squeeze the car in the garage. It is work. It is work <laughs> to get that car in the garage. But it's a necessary evil when you have a storm about to hit Texas. And I pray it's not like a Harvey or Katrina, something like that. So those are bad storms um, that we've had. Katrina, I think that really hit um, Louisiana area, New Orleans area. It hit that that area pretty bad, pretty badly. So that is my update. The kids are all adorable. Um, they were all good. They were, they're kind of quiet, but I really enjoyed the last class because it was more feedback. They thought I was funny. And of course, you know, I set off for that. Of course. <laughs> but it was kind of funny. <laughs> and they were just laughing and laughing. But if you're watching one of my students, you know, there's a time where we're going to have to work. It's not going to always be funny. <laughs> so that is that i hope you guys are doing well and being safe um i had crossing guard duty today and i take my job very seriously okay i went and bought me a rain suit the jacket and the pants okay from walmart it was 12 dollars because if i'm out there if i have to be out there in the rain why do i want to be soaking wet so i brought and I, my rain boots that had work great so um so i have me a full suit the jacket and the pants and I have rain boots I wish they were cute rain boots they're not um so and I guess I need to invest in a in a good umbrella because I still gotta walk the kids across the street I just need a stop sign stop <laughs> so that is my update and I like being outside. So when I did crossing guard duty um, in the afternoon, I decided to wear my face shield because I like to smile and wave at the cars and blah, blah, blah. So you can't see your smile in the mask. So um, I still had the face covering. It doesn't cover as much, but I wear both in the class unless I'm at the front of the classroom talking to the kids. Then I'll just, I already said this before. So just pretend you didn't hear it, okay? Just pretend like this is the first time you're hearing it. And um, so I'll just wear um, the face shield and I'll pull my mask down. And then if I'm walking closer to a kid, I'll pull my mask back up. But if I'm six feet away in front of the class, 
then uh, it's it's too much the mumbling and stuff it, it's it's just too much so the kids will be back on friday i don't know if it's the a kids or the b kids because we split the kids up you know from a through k and then l through z i don't know they alternate the a and b kids on friday so i don't know the first group may be a and then next friday the b kids will come so they they'll alternate until we're all back in october that's gonna be a mess i already said talked about that already so get this video thumbs up like comment share and subscribe i'm just gonna lay here y'all and just lay here for 15 minutes i'm gonna just set my timer just Give me 15 minutes. Oh my God. Okay, so it's 6.15. I think I have to pick Bobby up at 9. So let's just say I start cooking at 7. It'll give me enough time to cook, eat, and then go pick up Bobby. Right? Good. So I'm going to make smothered pork chops, some basmati rice from Connie Chow. I love that basmati rice. I don't need any more rice because there's a ton of it. And, um... And um, I think we have some broccoli and I think we have some frozen veggies. Oh, so this is what I'm going to do for the storm. Quiet, quiet, quiet. Calm down, calm down. You know I talk a lot. Um, Connie Chow, <laughs> she um, got us a cooler. So I guess one of the videos I bought a disposable cooler. So she got us a cooler and the cooler will keep ice for five days. So what I'm going to do tomorrow... Cause that's when a storm is supposed to come in so early in the morning i'm going to get several bags of ice and i'm going to put it in the cooler i'm not going to put any food so if we lose power you know i can save some of our food that's what i'm going to do and if we have to heat up food connie chow also got us that um grill i could always put a pot on the grill to heat up the pork chops and the rice you know what i'm saying yeah show the stove might work because it's a gas stove the only thing you need electricity for is to ignite it because I know if you lose power in your house and you, they get your, they turn your lights off or something and you have a gas stove, you just light it with a match. I think, I think that's what you do. But either way, I'll figure out how to heat up the food. I was thinking maybe I shouldn't smother the pork chops maybe because you, I don't mind eating a cold pork chop. They be good. I mean, you know I make everything good. So, but baby. But I don't, I don't eat no gravy cold. Ugh, I can't do that. But I got the grill. Maybe I'll get us some burgers. It's, if we lose power for a couple of days. Maybe I'll pick up some hot dogs and burgers. Because then I could put those in a cooler. And Connie Chow also sent us some lanterns. So I'm going to dig all that stuff out. So if we need light. I got a million candles. I got candles up in here. Oh, and I don't know when I'm going to upload this, but if it's too late, I'm sorry. You should unplug all of your electronics during a storm or something like that. Because, honey, if that lightning or you have an outage or something, it could blow out all your electronics, honey. So before I left school, we had to unplug all the computers, all our lamps. We unplugged everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We unplugged everything. So, that's a tip for you. So, when that storm comes through, want to make sure, oh, I want to charge. Ooh, I want to charge everything tonight. Because we have some Connie Chow. <laughs> she, she got us some charges and stuff. The charger in my car, that's a good charger. That charger in my car, that battery in my car will charge a car. It's a car battery, but you can use it as. You know, it's a car, well, it, okay. It's the car charger, but it's a battery. My baby, I may be able to use that thing to generate this whole house, honey. <laughs> so, I want to charge all the chargers 
that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna charge everything tonight. I have Bobby help me. Cause I think we have some other um, big charges from Connie Child. <laughs> and I wanna get all those things going. My head hurts y'all, but it's like I have a headache over here, but it's not enough. It doesn't hurt enough for me to take anything. Does that make sense? As my mom used to say, drink some water. Maybe I need to drink some water. I'll do that. I'll drink some water. And honey, oh my God, I'm, I'm going to stop y'all. I'm going to stop. I went to get some water from Walmart. They was gone. Gone, okay? Oh, and I need to fill up the bathtubs with water. Because if we lose power, I don't know. I still think we'll be able to flush the toilets. Yeah, I think we'll still be able to flush the toilet. I think so. I think so, right? I'm, I'm having a brain fart. But if not, you can use water. If you pour a bucket of water, it'll, it'll flush your toilet for you. If you ever have any issues. If something goes down, that's how you flush the toilet. You fill it with a whole bunch of water. <laughs> so, okay, okay, okay. I'm going to stop talking for real, for real this time. For real, for real. I got my robe. Oh, the stories this road can tell. <laughs> Alright, guys. You got me acting so... Oh, I got so much grading to do. And these kids had two weeks to do this work. You didn't do the work. You get a zero. And that doesn't make you a hero. Okay. Mm. Alright, guys. I will check in with you later to let you know that we're safe. So, I have a video to upload. I'm tired, y'all. But let me try to get it uploaded before we lose power. <laughs> Alright, guys. I love you. And I will check in with you later. Until next time. Later.